Hello, my name is Mr. Gaelic. I'm a student teacher at Alton Road Intermediate School. I study at the College of New Jersey and I'm here right now helping out with the music department. And right now I am here to give a short instructional video on setting up and applying a saxophone neck strap. Now the saxophone neck strap might not seem like a very important part of putting your instrument together, but actually it's one of the most important parts when you're a beginning player because it does one of two things that are really important. The first is that when we apply it, that the saxophone is resting comfortably and that the weight of it is distributed comfortably from your shoulders and the back of your neck uh, down and that there aren't other parts maybe you holding it where the weight is that it shouldn't be. And the second part is that the saxophone neck strap can adjust the height that the saxophone rests at. And the biggest problem with beginning players is that the saxophone is too low. And the problem when it's too low is that a player has to uh, slunk down in their seat or lean their neck forward, something like that, to reach the mouthpiece. And when we do that, we sort of block our airways. When we have good posture, we're sitting up, that's when we can get the best air out. And if we have to go down to our mouthpiece, instead of tightening this and having it come up to us, the sound that we make can, can suffer. So the most important things with the saxophone neck strap are that when it's laying in the case that it lies flat. Now, of course, you can fold it over, but it's important that when it's open, it's flat. And by that, I mean that we need to make sure that the strap doesn't have any twists or kinks in it. The problem with those is that if it lays like this or we apply it like this when we put it on, that we can run this buckle that adjusts the height of it over these kinks and that they can get caught, sort of like in a seatbelt when the strap is the other way. And the problem with that is that day-to-day -day usage and reapplication of the strap up and down can actually make the problem worse. And the more knots and slinks you get here, the less leeway you have here to adjust and even put on the strap. So it's important to make sure that things are nice and flat. When you've got it nice and flat, what you can do is take the big hole. Uh, you'll see that there's most of the strap forms one hole. And that on the other side of the buckle, when it's all the way loose, there is still a tiny little hole where the hook is. We want to take the large hole and put it over our head. Now, what's important now is adjusting this for a comfortable height that the saxophone can reach us at. And what I like to do here is I like to stick my thumb in the smaller hole between the buckle and the hook and put two fingers on each side of the buckle. Now you'll notice that there are grooves in it that can help you grab it. You're gonna take it there and with your thumb pulling one way and the strap going the other way, you can usually slide it all the way up without any problems. Now, this is a little bit tight, but you can bring it to whatever height you need to. If you bring it, um, if you adjust the saxophone strap and it's too tight or it's too loose, you can hold it up to check and then you can put it back down with it still hooked and do the same thing, your thumb in here and your fingers here, you can either tighten it or loosen it again. Um, it's important to know that the hook on the end will go into your saxophone in the back. There's a small hole in the back of the saxophone that this is meant to hook into. Uh, that hole will be just above a black, it's typically black, sometimes brass hook where your thumb can hold a little bit of weight. And on that topic, it's important that your thumb is not holding too much of the weight. It's there to keep your hand in position and take on a little bit of the weight, but this should still be doing the majority of the work, again, which is why it's important that it's nice and tight. Finally, when we're done playing the saxophone and we unhook our saxophone and we're still wearing the neck strap, it's important that if it, the saxophone strap is tight, that we loosen it all the way so we can get this off. And what I like to do is when I put it in my case, I'll take it and I'll lay it flat like this and I will fold it over itself so it's like this and maybe even one more time. This saves a lot of space, keeps it compact and safe when it sits in your case. It's not going to get tangled like this and you can put it wherever you want and next time you want it, you unfold it and it's just like where you wanted it to start last time. That's about everything there is to know about saxophone straps. I hope this video has helped. Thanks.